Welcome to the Sakonic L858D RTBR for Brawn Color Quick Start Video. In this video, we will review the installation of the transmitter module and walk you through each radio triggering mode and best practices for using your L858DU Speedmaster. Please note that Broncolor has a Wi-Fi system as well as an RFS2 2.1 radio system. Sakonic RTBR and L858D is only compatible with the RFS2 2.1 radio system. First, let's start with connecting your meter to DTS software and making sure you have the most recent firmware. It is recommended that you uninstall your current DTS software prior to installing the updated version available at Sakonic.com. Remove the battery door and connector cover from the connector pins and insert the module in the back of the meter. Power on the meter and you should see the Braun Color logo on the bottom, signifying that the module has been properly installed. Next, select your desired measuring mode. The Braun Color radio trigger will be active in these three measuring modes. Radio triggering flash mode. This is the basic wireless triggering mode and should be used for basic lighting setups. Radio triggering multiple cumulative flash mode. This mode is used when you want to meter multiple flashes for the same exposure, often used by still life photographers to build up the depth of field. Flash duration analysis radio triggering mode. This mode is used to measure and graph the flash duration of strobe lighting. Let's take a walk around the radio triggering flash mode. First, let's set the studio address by selecting the wrench icon to enter the toolbox and go to the second page. Next, select your radio studio address 1 to 99. Then select your lamp address 1 to 40. 1 through 6 will be displayed initially and by highlighting 1 and then selecting it again. You can change it to any of the 40 lamp addresses. Press OK to get back to the measuring screen and now we will discuss power control. So now let's dive into the power control screen. While in any of the modes, select the power control menu icon. The large F number will show the last measured reading. To the right of it is the button to exit back to the main measuring screen. Then you have the lamp addresses. With the Braun Color radio system, individual flash triggering is not available for each lamp address. All flashes in the same studio address will fire even if a particular lamp address is selected. For measuring the flash individually, turn off the power of flash units not in use. You can change the lamp address assigned to one of six locations by tapping it again while it's selected. You can adjust the power of an individual lamp address by tapping the minus or plus buttons. A long press will adjust the power by one stop and a short press by one tenth of a stop. The f-stop above the lamp address is the last measured value of that group. If you press all, you can fire all your groups, as well as change the power of them all together. To the left of the all button is the modeling light on and off switch. The modeling lamp of all flashes in the same studio address will be turned on or off, even if a particular lamp address is selected. Please note, the flash power control settings remain the same for all the wireless flash triggering modes. Now let's discuss the radio triggering multiple cumulative flash mode. This mode is used when you need multiple flashes to get to your desired f-stop. Often used by still life photographers using extremely high apertures mixed with bellows extensions to build up exposure. When in the multi-mode, you will see MLT, along with the flash count on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. 
every time you fire a flash, you will see the flash count go up, as well as the f-stop change in order to reflect the cumulative effect of the number of flashes you have fired. To reset the count, simply press the memory button. The flash power control screen works as described in the power control chapter and does not show the cumulative effect of your flashes. Next, let's discuss the Flash Duration Analysis Radio Triggering Mode. This mode enables you to wirelessly trigger your Broncolor flash and measure its f-stop, flash duration time, and graph of flash waveform for input ISO sensitivity and shutter speed. First, make sure you have the proper T value set depending on if you want to measure. T.1 and T.5 are most commonly referenced by lighting manufacturers. T.1 is more closely related to the shutter speed of your camera, but not exact. To select your T value, go to the toolbox, go to the next page, and select Flash Duration Analysis T value. Here you can select T.1 to T.9. We will keep the meter set to T.1, the default value given on select brawn color strobes, then select OK. You will see three values. First, the flash duration of the light you are measuring. Then you will see either the milliseconds denoted by MS or microseconds denoted by US. Then below this, you will see the aperture value. If the aperture value shows under in yellow, it means your set shutter speed is faster than your flash duration, and the exposure cannot be accurately measured. You will have to lower your shutter speed until it's below the flash duration of your camera. Please note that while in flash duration mode, any value given to a shutter speed higher than your camera's sync speed is theoretical. It is showing the value if your camera had a normal flash sync speed that was equal or higher. While in this mode, you can also tap the screen to see a graph of your flash duration if you would like to study its curve. For instance, some manufacturers quote their flash duration based upon T.5, and many photographers like to see how much flash power shows below the T.5 line in order to know if there is light below this point that could affect their exposure. The flash power control screen works as described in the power control chapter and does not show the cumulative effect of your flashes. Thank you for watching. This completes the tour of the Sekonic L858DU Quick Start video. Please see the description below for chapter times if you feel you need to rewatch any section.